All right, in my uh, last video, I showed this thing here that I made that uh, is really a box project and a, a project to learn how to put your name on something using 3D printing. Fun little project and uh, made an interesting little uh, pulse motor display. And I thought to myself, I wonder how thin I could make that and still get something that looked like it was a kind of like a perpetual motion machine so i did this and that's just uh, corrugated cardboard there and the same kind of rotor it's the same uh, basic rotor and let's see if i can get this one to work with uh with it just being thin let's see what happens here well i'll be darn look at that it runs like that. So, what's going on here? Well, like I say, it's just a thin piece of cardboard, corrugated cardboard. And let's see, how did I do that? Did I put the motor in there? Is there some kind of a drive in there? You know, is there something under the cabinet here? You know, how am I making that thing go? Am I blowing on it with a straw? What the heck's going on? This is uh, the 8th of December, 2022. I'm a lid motor. So what the heck is going on there? How am I doing that? Well, let's take a look and see here. Let me take this apart. This is the rotor, plastic 3D printed with some magnets on it. And that's just a 3D printed bracket. It's not even very sophisticated bearings. Piece of corrugated cardboard. How did I do that? That's how I did that. I took the coil out of one of these solar wavers, and they're really, really thin. And I cut out the cardboard and use one of these three volt button cells and just connected the reed switch between that and that and then put it in that covered it up and that made the driver anyway kind of fun stuff i can see how these guys fake these videos these magnet motor videos and stuff because that's all you need is an illusion like that made using very thin components to make something look like it self runs fun stuff happy holidays everybody thanks for watching